There we go. That's a red. Ooh, that's a red. What is going on, everybody? Ruben, Texas, all water fishing, and I am getting my stuff together. I am getting ready to head out, grabbing a couple of my GoPros. Gonna head out and go to a friend of mine's. It is evening and we're gonna be doing a little bit of night fishing the weather has been really back and forth back and forth a little bit of wind a little bit of rain so i'm gonna hit out there and see if i can catch hopefully i catch a red take the rider trap back out there and see if i can hook up but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share There we go. That's a red. Ooh, that's a red. Oh. Yeah, you're there. That's a nice red. Yeah. Nice boat up. It's a big one too. Probably about 28. Uh, maybe, maybe about 26. I, I'm not used to this rod yet, so I don't know. Oh, oh it broke off. Did your line just snap? <laughs> How you feel, Ruben? <laughs> it was a big one. Oh man, it broke. Dang it. Ah. I just put a new leader on too, so I know it's not the leader. Yep, look at that. Freaking quick, the little quick, quick release thing came off. See? Right there. Hello. That's why I don't like this kind. Damn it. Nah.
Ooh. No, that, that one kept my rattle trap. This one only has one. Oh man. There we go. Oh, right at the boat. Low spec. Right at the boat, ladies and gentlemen. No, the sand trout. Sand trout. Keep his ass. A nice one. Nice little sandy. Got a little belly on. Three JD lure. There it goes again, flashing right there. Somebody told me to use a crappie jig. Mm -hmm. Crappie, little crappie. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. He took it though. <laughs> <laughs> that was him. <laughs> he swam right, he came right back, little bastard. That's perfect size. Right over there. You he came seen right him. back. We seen him go out. I know. Freaking funny. He hit it like he was mad at it. A little piercing. All right guys, so as you saw, I lost that red the other night. It hurt a lot. I also, what happened was one of these opened up. Now, I don't really like these. I picked them up because they were out of the other ones. These little dual lock snaps. It opened up on me and I lost that really nice red. And now there was, the, the next dock over, there was some lines in the water. People were out there soaking bait. I'm not hating on them at all. They probably didn't realize I was even hooked up or even on a nice fish. And I really didn't have much control of it because I was fishing with some light tackle. So trying to force that fish a little bit and that dual lock open up and 
so I'm off with my rattle trap. I went back again to try to redeem myself. End up catching like the worst brunt of the storm. Rolled through a lot of lightning, and after the rain, there was just wasn't anything. It just kind of just totally completely died. My my buddy and myself, you know, we try to soak some big baits out there. We wanted to try to get a gar or. So just something big, a gar, a bull red, something of that nature, and unfortunately we weren't able to hook up. But I do appreciate you guys. I know sometimes with the weather, Mother Nature, what I may or may not have going on, a lot of times it can be a little bit of struggle to put some fish on here on the channel for you guys. But it's not because of lack of trying. I have gone out. I think I've skunked or nearly skunked. My last three, four trips out in the kayak, so that's why maybe you haven't seen any recent kayak videos. It's not because I'm not fishing. I'm fishing. I'm on the water two or three times a week, but still grinding, still casting. Hopefully, this weather will clear up, get some of that nice salty water back in the marshes, get back out on the yaks, and be able to bring you a great video with some great content that you all are used to. But thank you very much. Please leave a comment. Hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, thank each and every one of you again, and hopefully next time you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.